Glenn Beck was at a, a gathering of redstate.com. Uh, they uh, bring together conservatives in, in Denver. Uh, they did this year. They brought in Ted Cruz. They're not feeling the Donald Trump love, and they brought in Glenn Beck. Uh, so Red State's been tough on Trump, so it was Cruz and Beck. Uh, anyway, this was not about Trump. Uh, they decided, uh, or Beck did, that he was going to talk about Black Lives Matter, and it turns out he figured it out. Oh, interesting. Let's hear him out. Let me give you an example on Black Lives Matter. The people who are marching, not the people who are running it, they are communists. But many of the people who are marching that are not burning things down, they just want to be heard. And we're saying all lives matter. And I've been saying that for a year, all lives matter. And that's offensive. How is that offensive? I finally figured it out. After the shooting in Dallas, I finally figured it out. Because I sat and I listened. Well, good for you. For once, Glenn Beck listened. And actually, there, there is some things he figured out. Obviously, he didn't figure everything out because he starts the conversation with, hey, the people running Black Lives Matter, they're obviously communists. <laughs> obviously, you didn't listen that hard. Really, communists? We're going back to communists. I've never heard of anyone in the Black Lives Matter uh, movement caring particularly that much about capitalism versus communism, let alone saying, well, obviously, we're doing these protests because we're all Marxist here. I don't know where he got that from. But listen, hear him out here, because I actually think that he did begin to understand the issue. He's going to use a really weird analogy here. But, but like I said, give him a chance. And I listened to these people who said, I'm not with these guys. But I was marching. But I'm not with these guys. But I'm afraid of my own grandchildren. Something's happening in our own community. And we need to help. We, we, need, we need help. We need to figure this out. Something's happening in our own community that we don't recognize. Black lives matter. And I realized what's happening is everybody at this table says, we're going to have pie? Yes, let's have pie. The waiters come. Everybody gets pie except for you. Sorry. I had yours. <laughs> he didn't get any pie. And he says, Guys, uh, I don't have any pie. And all of you guys look at him and go, I know, and all pie matters. <laughs> yes, it does, but I don't have any pie. I know all pie matters. No, guys, my pie matters right now. Right now, my pie, I don't have any pie. My pie matters. I know all pie matters. That's insane. That's what's happening to us. We're not hearing each other because many of the people up at top just want to win and they have agendas that most of us are not for. Okay, so I think that Beck really doesn't have any idea what he's talking about and, and he has trouble grasping things. But every once in a while he'll, he'll like hear somebody out and go, and you'll get it, and you'll go, oh, oh, I see the thing with the pie. Okay, okay. So what he's trying to explain there, I think fairly inartfully, is black folks are saying, of course all lives matter, but we're the ones getting killed right now, so we're trying to get you to understand that our lives matter as well. They matter just as much as everybody else's life matters. So hence his pie analogy of like, yeah, yeah, your pies are lovely, but mine's the one that's missing, and in this case, it's my life that's missing, so my life that's not mattering. So when you're yelling at me all lives matter, I'm going, yeah, of course, but can we focus on the problem here? Because there isn't an epidemic of whites or Asians being killed by police. There's an, what they perceive to be an epidemic of uh, blacks being killed by police, oftentimes unarmed, and they're saying, can we get our lives to matter as well? I think in his own crazy gyroscope way, Beck finally heard someone and understood that. Now, again, he misdirects in the beginning and says, oh, those protesters, not the communists, but the ones doing the marching are afraid of their own grandchildren. So, of course, he puts the blame back on black people. And see, in his mythical world, a protester comes to Beck and goes, now those guys running the protest are communists. And the real problem is my own grandkids, black culture, right? Uh, but let me tell you this thing about pies. <laughs> so, Misdirected to say the least, 
wrong on many counts, but I saw there a kernel of beginning to understand the problem. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, it's not much of a slice of pie, but it's as good as you're going to get from conservatives. There are two people who didn't sign up for Young Turks membership. One of them was because because he has a lot of chutzpah. And the other one, you know, we thought, oh no, she didn't. Don't make that mistake. Tytnetwork.com/slash/join. Join us right now.